Well, as you take a look at the tail of the tape, you'll see Beriskova has pretty much everything to her advantages. She's three years younger, two inches taller. She's four pounds lighter, has a five and a half inch advantage in reach over Julie Kedzie. But Kedzie has more experience. She is some kind of tough. A third year pro loves the striking game. Julie Kedzie. Troy Waugh, the third man in the ring. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Beriskova in black, the short trunks. Julie Kedzie in the black and red with the ponytail. Kedzie goes with that front kick to start things going. Beriskova looks like a boxer. Beriskova's got fists of fury when she gets in the pocket, but Kedzie not having any of it. Giving as good as she's getting. And we have a slugfest on our hands. How about this? They love the girls here in Russia. Julie finally ties her up, wraps her up, goes to the knees inside. Beriskova trying to get free with that hand. Blasts her with a left hand. Shot to the side of the head. Julie spins her into the ropes, trying to control her. Trying to cut that distance down when she comes with the knees. If there's one thing that Julie is exceptional at, that is completely neutralizing the offense of her opponent. Some may call it boring, some may call it safe, but Kenzie is very, very good at taking her opponent out of the game, and that's what she did very, very quickly with Brezakova. We didn't see these hands of Brezakova last time because she fought Taylor Rosa, who took her out of her game, but now we're seeing him here tonight. Well, Julie has certainly neutralized the early onslaught, and now as they continue in the clinch game, somebody's gonna try and get something free to land some blows here. There's the knees coming up by Kedzie. Right back is Barakova. You see both fighters hacking their knees into the thighs of the other. Excellent tactic there. Knots up the quadricep. And you see a shoulder shot from Julie Kedzie. Very short range shot, but it can have a very distracting effect on the opponent. Well, I think she needs to create some space down. I guess she doesn't want to box with this girl. Maybe try to wear her down in the clinch game. Well, that's exactly what they're doing. Both fighters having a very active clinch right now. You see referee Troy Watt keeping a close eye, but seeing more than enough action to justify leaving him there for the time being. Well, I'll tell you this. Beriskova's feeling the knees of Julie because she tried to push her legs back. She's trying to hold them back. Now Troy brings him out of the corner. He'll set them back up. Okay, fighter. Fighter. There they go. Now let's see if Judy can hold her off in the boxing game. You need to get that leg out there. She goes to the front gate. Doesn't quite catch a piece of her. Look at this shot. Excellent straight shot from both fighters, and Kenji takes it to the freeze, mat. Freeze, freeze, She's got freeze. side control, and Troy calls time, spins him around. They're outside the ropes. Julie Kedzie has side control on top. Jeff, I'll tell you, man, you know Julie a lot better than I do. I cannot believe the improvements that Julie has made in her game ever since joining the Jackson camp. Yeah, she's been very adamant about it. She says, I feel like it's the first time that I've trained ever. And that's, she said, that's no disrespect to anyone else. And there's her jiu-jitsu jiu jiu from her last coach, Jane Slingerman. And Julie is perfectly able. Oh, she's mounted. Look at this. Blasting away, trying to get a shot to the head. Julia desperately squirming, almost looking like she's trying to get out of the ring, but Julia having none of it. She did. She tried to squirm away, but Julie just separated the, uh, rather, uh, Julie uh, separated those legs, and Beriskova couldn't spin her. Oh, look at that shot! Solid left hand. One thing that's so often underestimated is the punching power of Julie Kedz. Okay, ready? Well, these two women are, are not your average women. They are in impeccable physical shape. They look like beauties out of the ring, but I'm telling you, the leather they're throwing tonight, I, I'm completely impressed. Julie fully mounted here, trying to get a little space so she can cut loose with those power shots. Yes, grazed the chin that time. Look at Beriskova trying to get out of it. You see Beriskova bucking, trying to get out of that full mount, and she proved to be an absolute escape artist against Tara La Rosa. But Kenzie's body control is unbelievable. It's all about control in the down game. Blaster, she's got a little distance, tied up in the ropes, and Troy will have to drag him out of there pretty freeze, soon. Freeze, freeze, freeze. And he does. He says to freeze. Just spins him around, leaves him in the same position. Full mount is Judy Kedzie, and she blasts away. Look at this. Rezakova landed a left and a right from the bottom, and now she's giving up her back very bad, but it looks like Rezakova is going to get out of danger. Well, she's reversed it around, and Troy Wall will have to drag him out in the same position, but it's a whole different position now. 
full guard has a head seat, but can Ben Escova get free enough to blast it her? Good call on Troy Waugh's part. The guard was not completely close, so he did not restart them in that position. This is where Kessie's nose was bleeding earlier. It was, it's, you know, streaming down as she's going for an arm bar. And, and being on your back with a nosebleed like that, you start swallowing a lot of blood. Eventually, you just can't breathe as well. Rezakova, great ground defense as Kenzie trying to work those arm bars. Closing seconds. Julie will escape from this as the bell will end this round very shortly here. There it is. Action pack, ladies first round, guys. Unbelievable. I cannot believe the Julie Kedzie we are seeing tonight. I saw Bereza Kova's medal tested against Tara LaRose. I knew the level she was at. But Julie Kedzie easily meeting and in some ways surpassing her. Impressive to say the least. Well, in the early going, the onslaught of the boxing of Bereza Kova was almost overpowering. But you called it, Paul. I mean, Kedzie just tied her up when he eventually she got to her and were able to get into that clinch game. And it went down to the canvas. I thought Julie had more time on top, or at least in control. And then at the very end, Beriskova able to get on top herself. Yeah, check this out. Kedzie catches the leg, and bam, lands a hard left hand. And shoots and gets the clinch. Nice, clean sweep into full side control. Take it out. Take it out. Here it is again, another look. Uh, Julie took one. I got to give uh, Beriskova some credit. She landed a right, too. 10-9 uh, for Kedzie, not by much though. Kind of dominating last two minutes of the round, uh, being on top of Rezaco. You ready? You ready? In mixed martial arts, women fight the same distance as men do. Three five-minute rounds. Julie Kedzie with her back to you, with the red trim on her trunks. And the shorter trunks is uh, Yulia Beriskova from right here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Blood coming from the nose of Julie Kedzie. They're in the boxing game again, and now the clinch again. Trying to take her down, and she does! Nice clean sweep again. Kenzie almost in the mount, and she's okay. there. Rezakova trying to bridge and roll. She's done it. She's giving up her back to Julie Control. That's that insane flexibility that Yulia demonstrated against Tara LaRosa in Vancouver. And once again, it gets her out of immediate trouble against Kenji. You know, Colonel, you mentioned that the women go the same rounds. As the men, five minutes in some states, they feel that the women aren't adequate enough to fight. They make them fight two or three minute rounds, but in Bodog, hey, our women are for real, and they're fighting five minute rounds just like anyone else does. And you people that are watching at home, and I know that you realize what Jeff is talking about, he knows women's fighters. Julie Kedzie, one of the very best, and so is Beres Kova. Beres Kova on top, a little ground and pound here. Julie trying to create some distance for the legs, and she reverses it. She's got, she's going for arm bar here. Brezakova grabbing it, and textbook escape, but she's still in danger. She is still in danger. And now Brezakova is grabbing that ankle. She is out. Listen to the crowd come alive. It looks like organized mayhem, but this is good Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She's stuck in a triangle. That is clamped on. The triangle is clamped. I'm not sure where her arm is, whether it's across her throat. Brezakova trying to push off. She is in serious trouble, not necessarily from the submission, but from the strikes that are being rained down. And she is trying to push Kenzie off. Kenzie's really got that leg locked in her other leg. Troy wants to pull him up, but he doesn't want to interfere with the action. Look at the flexibility of Brezakova completely torquing her body all the way around. It's unbelievable. Julie continues to pound on her. Look at this. Holy suffered cats. Full mount with a leg wrap around. This is unbelievable stuff. Yeah, she has got that triangle. It's not all the way cinched in. Her arm is not, I don't, uh, still, that's very, very tight. And Brezakova continues to defend. As Kedzie, it's going to be stopped. It's all over. The winner, Julie Kedzie. Beriskova took the pounding of her life from Julie Kedzie. That's a great victory. Good performance by both female fighters. I got to tell you, they're not just good female fighters. 
These are brilliant athletes. I'll say it again. I've said it a bunch of times before. Our own Jeff Osborne has been the primary proponent of female mixed martial arts in North America. And time and time again, the Bulldog fight women bear out Jeff's opinion. Julie Kedzie scoring an unbelievable victory in a fight that very nearly stole, stole the show tonight. Well, he's nearly going the way Beriskova came out with her boxing and just swarmed all over Julie. Julie weathered the storm, grabbed her up, got her in the clinch, and that's why you have to be good in all three phases in mixed martial arts. At this level, you can't escape with just one. Now, take a look at the end. Kedzie just had the triangle cinch. Wasn't going to get the submission. I'm a firm believer in, in take full advantage of the position you have and don't always go for submission even when it's there. And it, Troy Waugh steps in, says, hey, it's not going to get any better from here. And Julie Ketze, victorious via referee stoppage. And she's waving at us down here. Always a smile on Julie's face. <laughs> <laughs> Julie talking to Jeff. Well, you know, it's official, but we have to make it official. Here's Damian Pinto. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has put a stop to this action at the two minute 49 second mark of round number two. Your winner by referee stop and TKO, Julie Kedzie. A wonderful victory for Julie Kedzie.